Hello, I want to look at percentages today, percentage totals, and how we can show a combination of percentage totals as well as the total sum of the values. So what precisely do I mean by that? What am I talking about? Um, so what I want to show is basically how many points were scored as a percentage in away matches and in home matches and what the sum of those total points is yeah so as you can see here it's quite easy because we can see through this visualization which is called the 100 percent 100 percent stacked column chart i always forget what the visualizations are called i have to hover the mouse over i can't remember all this stuff um yeah so we can see that quite easily this, this is this is great i mean i would change one or two things i could say okay don't show me on a continuous show me on a categorical and all this type of stuff so the, the 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 small things that you do to make the visualization what you want but i would ask myself the question okay in the first round this football season 67.71 percent of the total points were scored by the away team, which is high, uh, high percentage, by the way, and the 32% by the home team. Cool, interesting. This is the information that I want. But on top of that, I want how many actual points was that? Yeah. Um. So if I here were to add my my measure for total points. I mean, I can't do that, right? Because if you look what I have, we have our values, which is total points represented as a percentage. And all we do is on top of that, we have like tooltips. So I can add it there and I can see total points here was 228 and here was 478. But again, what's the total? Um, we can't put that in the visualization, which is um, a shame. And as you know, there are some visualizations where there was recently an update, I think it was on November, December, maybe earlier, I can't remember, where you can add not only the category, but also the total number. Obviously, in this visualization, you can't do that because the total number is always going to be 100%, and you don't have the option to add in a different, um, a different value. So, what we're going to do. So, it's, yeah, not the most straightforward thing in the world, but again, also not particularly complex. So I'll, I'll keep this this visualization here um, to, as, a, as a reference as to what we're going to do for the rest. And I'll do a quick um, copy paste. So we have our two versions. Cool. So the first thing we, we can do is we can choose a different sort of visualization. So if we were to go um, here, for example, the stack column chart, now we have the numerical values the 228 here, as we saw here in our tooltip, and the 478. Nice, right? And on this visualization, we can have our totals. So that's great because we have the totals and we have the numbers. So if I wanted just the numbers, then golden, I'd be finished. This was a nice update when they had this total labels. But it's still not precisely what I want because I want a combination of what you can see on the screen here. I want these percentages and I want these totals. It's actually um, not as straightforward as it should be, which is quite often the case with Power BI. So what we're going to do. First and foremost, we're going to change to a third visualization type. And the third visualization type then becomes this one, it's the line and stacked column chart. Why we're going to choose that one is because again, on this one, if I went to say total points and show value as percentage of grand total, first of all, I would get the percentage of the grand total, which is the entire total that you see here, not the subtotal by category and the percentage here changes to this percentage. You get me? You can't basically say, show me two values. It's all the same value here. So we need this, this line stacked is what we have here. Um, so here we have line and stacked. Um, so we're kind of getting closer to what we want to achieve. Um, but, but not entirely because again, on this one, when we say percentages, we're having the same issue with the percentages. So we need to write our own measure to achieve that. 
but the ve- the measure is like really really basic. It's it's really like straightforward, and um, I've already written it because I hate to type when I talk because I'm bad at typing. But I can just show you here by by clicking on it. So all we're gonna do is look. The total points, the HA is for our home and away categories. So this is what I'm saying. I want to categorize it down, categorize it down through. Divide our total points, which was the measure that we, you're actually already using here. Divide our total points by total points all selected and the category. So I want to show home or away. So that's it. Divide the measure that you're using in the first place, the total points, by calculate, and we're using calculate here so we can of course use all selected. So we can't just say divide total by points by total points, that would make no sense. So divide total points by calculate, calculate total points, and then we're gonna use all selected, just like that. And if you want to understand what that's actually doing, it tells you here if you've never used all selected before. Um, so the returns all the rows in the table, um, ignoring any filters, blah, blah, but keeps the filters that come from. It's basically saying we need to use this um, previous HA as part of the calculation so we can ensure that that's the, um, the value it's going to return us. This and this kind of categorized by this is essentially what it's saying. So really straightforward, a little bit of DAX. And then that gives us what we want for our divided by. So I'm going to remove this here and I'm going to add now this. Cool, right? Because as you can see, these values are the same. Slightly different here because I've chosen one decimal place and here I've got two decimal places, but it's pretty clear. No, these values here are exactly what we wanted to achieve. Good times. So what I don't want though, in this case is the totals label because the totals label is going to show us 100%, which we already discussed makes no sense because we know it's 100% because we've already written within the the, the measure that we just wrote, that it's going to define, always going to return us these values, essentially. Yeah. So I'm going to turn off my total labels and try again. Now they're turned off. Cool. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a line value. And my line value is going to be the same measure that we use here. So it's just a really flat, the sum of the total points. Now we have that. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're not there yet, but we're getting somewhere. So we need to do a couple of things. And this is like the ugliest part of it because it's not like that clean, but it does work. <clears throat> so hopefully you'll like the end result. We'll see. So what we need to do, we need to play around, first of all, with our Y axis. So what I'm going to do here in my Y axis is, and um, we this show secondary stuff, we can just then, oops, excuse me. We can um, kind of define where we want the axes to start and that'll define where this line sits, right? So show secondary, of course, as we just saw, needs to be switched on. And I'm going to say start it at a certain point to ensure, yeah, that we're always at the top. Now I know this is really ugly and I don't like it, but it works. So I kind of don't care that much to be quite honest with you. Um, so then I need to change my units to this. So now you can see we have all of our totals sitting there. Nice. This is cool. Now we switch that off. We don't want to show these ridiculous values. Yeah. Cause that, that, that nonsense. So I'm going to switch them off. Very nice. And I'm going to switch off my Y axis in general because I don't want it. So now I'm, 
pretty close to what I want to achieve. Not not completely there yet. There are still some little tweaks that we need to make. Um, but we have exactly what I wanted in regards the numbers. We have the percent here, we have the percent there, and then we have the total number of points here. Cool. So what I need to do now is just a couple of very, very small points. I'm going to go to my shapes, yeah, and I'm going to take this, this stroke width down to zero. Because as you can see, when I do that, it removes the line that you get, of course, from that line value that we placed in there. So now, you could say done. And if you wanted to say done, then you say done. No worries. I would just make some smaller changes to ensure that these values kind of look as, look as different as possible, which would be like, um, if you look at the data tables, you can customize that series and say, okay, home and away, they stay as they are. But our total points, the line value, if you will, I would, um, I will, in this case, remove the background and then change that color a little bit so it stands out that way. I know it's not perfect because in a ideally, well, it's not perfect for many, many reasons, um, but it's not perfect because it would be nice if these could kind of sit on top and you could sit a position above, but you see that happens and it's not a beautiful thing at all. So I just kind of like leave it be and say like auto or maybe under. At least you're guaranteed that straight line. So they're not going to like pop up and pop down because they're all sitting at a hundred percent. If you say under, they're all going to stay always in the same place. So it's not difficult to, to ensure that the user or whomever understands what these numbers represent. So for me, I'd be kind of at this point, bar a few small changes, happy with what we've got. We have our percentage values for each one. Again, we could change them up a little bit. So I don't really like it when the background is kind of quite so wide or, or whatever. You don't have to use backgrounds at all. But you see my general point. This is what we've achieved. So I can get rid of this now because I just don't need it anymore. Now in this visualization, we've set out, we've achieved what we set out to achieve, which is we have a percentage for each category, home and away. Plus across the very top, we have our total number of points, which means we can see that in the first game week, there were 706 points scored, 67.7 .7 of those points were scored by the away team and 32.3% were scored by the home team. And then you follow that across the entire, um, the entire season. That's it. Um, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of, of, of solutions where you have to kind of do what I do like with the Y axis. I think that's just not nice, but it also kind of works. So eh, what are you going to do? Um, so I, I, I don't use this visualization style very often, to be honest with the stacked and uh, the, what's it called again? I'll have a mouse over to find out the, yes, the 100% stacked column chart. I very rarely use that. But on occasion, it does come in handy. And that was for me last week when I kind of realized you could do it this way. Yeah. Maybe that helps. Maybe you think, no, that's too ugly a solution to ever actually use. And how dare you suggest it, Ben? For which I apologize if that's how you feel. Um, but for me, I will actually use this um, because I think it does add value and I think it will help. So yeah, hope it helped you in some way. And as ever, if you disagree, let me know. That's fine. You're allowed to disagree. I never claim to be right about many things, but when I come up with ideas, I post them because it's fun, basically. Cool. All right. Have fun. And I shall um, speak to you somewhere online soon. I do hope. Goodbye.